It's called California's Low Carbon Fuel Standard, or LCFS. In a nutshell, LCFS is a state program aimed at reducing carbon dioxide emissions that come directly from transportation fuels. The program does so by imposing rules on the oil industry, specifically regulating the carbon intensity in such fuels. The LCFS is one of California's signature climate programs, and it's been really effective. Dr. Stephen Cliff is the executive officer of the California Air Resources Board, or CARB, the state agency in charge of overseeing air pollution and climate change-related programs across California, including LCFS. He says LCFS has benefited the environment since it was created more than a decade ago and will help the state achieve achieve its long-term goals to transition away from fossil fuels. This means dramatically reduce climate impacts and improve public health. The low carbon fuel standard has been a driving force for innovation and investment and has drawn more than $4 billion in investments in cleaner fuels and technology, which means new businesses and jobs. But just three days after the election, 14 members of the Air Resources Board, including 12 appointed by the governor, will vote on a proposal to impose stricter regulations on LCFS that supporters say will help the climate. But on the flip side, this very analysis from the Air Resources Board found the proposed new policy could increase gas prices by 47 cents per gallon in 2025 and potentially even more in the future. The analysis came to that conclusion, noting CARB's proposed policy could lead to higher costs for refineries, which could be passed down to consumers. But fast forward to today, Cliff says it was never intended to be an end-all, be-all prediction of gas prices, but rather just a hypothetical of possible costs. We're not predicting gas prices. We, we don't have the capability of that. Still, legislative and congressional Republicans sent the Air Resources Board these letters urging its members to postpone the upcoming vote until they can come up with an updated cost-benefit analysis about how the proposed policy could impact gas prices. I am questioning how aggressive you're pursuing these, in, these efforts without considering the impact on everyday Californians, literally trying to make it. Cliff says CARB has been transparent, hosting several public meetings and workshops on this very issue. But in a one-on-one -on -one interview with me, Chevron's vice president of Fuels for the Americas says he believes there are still many unanswered questions. We are not, quote-unquote, against LCFS. We're for those objectives. The concern, you hit it, is the amendments that are coming forward and the frustration of the lack of transparency. That cost element has been ignored, um, out for lack of a better term, by CARB. And so as of now, the upcoming vote at the Air Resources Board will go on as planned. It's scheduled for November 8th. Reporting in South Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.